Well, four men have been charged over the murder of Sydney businessman Michael McGurk, who was shot last year outside his family home. Mr McGurk was known to police as a lender of last resort with links to the building industry. John Stewart reports. In September last year, Michael McGurk was killed by a single shot to the back of the head. He was getting out of his car at his home in the well-heeled Sydney suburb of Cremorne when the gunman struck. McGurk was well known to the New South Wales police as a lender of last resort and a standover man. For the past year, a major police investigation has focused on his business dealings and today four men were arrested and charged in connection with his death. The motive for the murders is clearly some financial and business transactions. At this stage, I'm not prepared to detail any further that the motive for the offence. Among those arrested are the former boxer, Lucky Gatellari, accused of paying money to have Michael McGurk killed. Two men believed to be Gatellari's business partners were also arrested. Hassam Safetli was charged with murder and Senad Kamenik with being an accessory. Some people have been charged with a solicit to murder and have in fact solicited uh, some of the other individuals to commit the act of murder. Police allege the hitman was 20-year-old Christopher Estefan, who handed himself in to King's Cross Police Station this morning. There is uh, simply one shot which has been fired, being the fatal shot sustained by Michael McGurk. There is clear evidence that two persons were present at that time. Shortly before McGurk was killed, he told a journalist that he had a secret tape recording which could bring down the New South Wales Labor government. He claimed to have evidence of bribery and corruption involving state Labor MPs and senior public servants. But an investigation by the New South Wales Independent Commission Against Corruption found no evidence to back up his claims and described McGurk's allegations as nonsense. McGurk was also reported to be attempting to extort $8 million from Sydney property developer Ron Medich. Last year, Mr Medich admitted in a parliamentary inquiry that he was a business associate and lifelong friend of Lucky Gatellari. Mr Medich has denied any involvement in the murder and there's no suggestion he's a suspect. Uh, I'm not prepared to make any comment in relation to the position of Ron Medich at this stage. Police say they expect to make more arrests in relation to the murder. John Stewart, Lateline.